In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Hi everyone, uh, thank you for joining me for Mass this morning. Slightly later this morning because um, I hadn't got any hosts, so I nipped over to the parish priest local here in Watford called Holy Rood and he gave me some hosts, so many thanks to him. Um, I'm celebrating this Mass for my mum. Today we keep the memoria of St Paul Miki and his 25 companions, Japanese martyrs of the 20 16th century, born between the years of 1564 and 1566. Paul Meakey was a Jesuit priest who preached the gospel to great effect. On the 6th of February 1597, he and his companions were martyred by crucifixion in Nagasaki during a persecution of Catholics after having endured terrible torture. Imitating the life of his saviour, Paul prayed for his executioners while on the cross. So as we begin our celebration in their honour, we pause to call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of all the saints, who through the cross were pleased to call the martyrs St Paul Miki and companions to life, grant we pray that by their intercession we may hold with courage even until death to the faith that we profess. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of the Kings. In the presence of the whole assembly of Israel, Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord and, stretching out his hands towards heaven, said, O Lord God of Israel, not in heaven above nor on earth beneath is there such a God as you, true to your covenant and your, king and your kindness towards your servants when they walk wholeheartedly in your way. Yet will God really live with men on the earth? Why, the heavens and their own heavens cannot contain you, how much less this house that I have built. Listen to the prayer and entreaty of your servant, O Lord my God. Listen to the cry and to the prayer your servant makes to you today. Day and night let your eyes watch over this house, over this place of which you have said, My name shall be there. Listen to the prayer that your servant will offer in this place. Hear the entreaty of your servant and of Israel your people as they pray in this place. From heaven where your dwelling is, hear, and as you hear, forgive. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy, to God, the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. The sparrow herself finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield, Look on the face of your anointed. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Train me, Lord, to observe your law to keep it with my heart. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Lord, you, o Lord. The Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered round Jesus, and they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with unclean hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and the Jews in general 
follow the tradition of the elders and never eat without washing their arms as far as the elbow. And returning from the marketplace, they never eat without first sprinkling themselves. There are also many other observances which have been handed down to them concerning the washing of cups and pots and bronze dishes. So these Pharisees and scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not respect the tradition of the elders, but eat their food with unclean hands? He answered, It was of you hypocrites that Isaiah so rightly prophesied in this passage of scripture. This people honours me with only lip service, while their hearts are far from me. The worship they offer me is worthless. The doctrines they teach are only human regulations. You put aside the commandment of God to cling to human traditions. And he said to them, How ingeniously you get round the commandment of God in order to preserve your own tradition. For Moses said, Do your duty to your father and your mother, and anyone who curses father or mother must be put to death. But you say, If a man says to his father or mother, Anything that I might have used to help you is korban, that is, dedicated to God, then he is forbidden from that moment to do anything for his father or mother. In this way you make God's word null and void for the sake of your own tradition which you have handed down, and you do many other things like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardour to their faith. In their endurance you grant them firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures in heaven and on earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St Paul Meeky and his companions, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop, his assistant bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labour in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Many thanks for joining me for Mass. Take care. Bye, God bless, and see you soon. Bye.